Hi, I'm General John Campbell. I have been in and around the military my entire life, growing up on Air Force bases and serving in the Army for 37 years. After retiring in 2016, I knew I wanted to build on my experience and join organizations that had causes that were near and dear to my heart. Joining the Military Housing Association as an advisor empowers me to help shape the work this organization is doing to further strengthen the military housing program and to represent the voices of service members and their families. I grew up in an Air Force family. My father was enlisted in the Air Force for 22 years. During that time, we lived in military housing across the country, often in communities built during World War II that many military families today would not even recognize. As an active duty soldier in the Army, my family and I lived in military housing at Fort Hood, Fort Bragg, and several other posts. I have witnessed the improvement of military communities through the Military Housing Privatization Initiative firsthand, and have seen the difference it makes for soldiers and their families. So there's a lot of components of readiness, and one of them is making sure that families are taken care of. And through the privatized housing, we were able to make sure that our soldier, sailor, airmen, marines had uh, really good quality housing. You know, when I grew up, we didn't have that, and it really impacted on morale, retention, um, but then on readiness as well. So after 2001, when we were deploying all the time, if a commander had to worry about a, a soldier, and a soldier was worrying about what was going on back home because his family was not in good, sustainable quarters, you know, his focus would not be on the fight, and I needed his focus on the fight. So, you know, I was really, really happy that uh, the privatized housing came along. It enabled uh, all of our soldiers uh, that lived in military housing to have good, brand new, in many cases, houses that the Army, uh, based on budgets alone, would never have been able to provide to their soldiers. So, I mean, this is a huge, groundbreaking event of having privatized housing and really made a huge difference in the lives of our soldiers and their families. And readiness was just one small part of it. Creating the Military Housing Association changed the way military housing providers work together and with military families in the Department of Defense to continuously improve the quality and sustainability of military communities. The industry has come a long way in the past few years to increase communication among its members and the service branches. Now, housing providers have a forum to share information and more strongly collaborate with their military partners, leading to more resilient military communities. As an advisor, I'll work alongside some of the largest companies in the privatized military housing sector to develop and communicate best practices and common standards to enhance military housing. This includes advising them on processes and operational policies that will have a positive long-term impact on our service members and their families. I look forward to working with MHA as military housing companies continue to improve the quality and sustainability of housing available to service members and their families.